Alrighty, folks, we're back, and what you want to do is if you want to build like these slab spoons or anything like that, it's just the same thing as anything else. Get yourself a variety of terminal tackle. I've got this box where I keep all kinds, I buy all kinds of here's little split rings those oval split rings okay I was at Academy uh, sports and they had these really super quality swivels like those okay 88 cents for 10 of them on sale I mean come on who can't who can't use just a, a really nice rolling swivel? Okay, so you you start you start picking up some stuff. All right, but I'm going to show you how to make something where you don't need a whole lot of this. You don't need anybody else's swivels because you've probably already bought mine. All right, so. Here's some hooks. I just got them off of eBay. There's some long shank trot line hooks. See the big eye? Stainless steel. And I would use these for a longer jig. Okay. Then over here, and I keep I keep all the names of them. There's some open eye Siwash VMCs. Okay, and I've got these on many jigs. And if you don't know what an open eye siwash hook is, well, it's because you just don't look. There's the siwash. Remember I told you it has a really long, sh long point end on it. And it's an open eye. See how that's an open eye? And it's a size one. All right, these are so easily available on eBay. It's like ridiculous. You will never find any of this in Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, so just don't even think about running around all these stores and finding zero. Okay, it won't happen. But that's a sidewash hook. All right, then over here I've got just O'Shaughnessy bait hooks black mustads and these are the ones today that I'm going to show you how to rig that's the one you don't buy these with an open eye because that's a little short shank black bait hook now over here I got some other siwash hooks just close out get somebody's get rid of them hook type of thing there's a silver siwash open eye got these on eBay and then over here let's see I got some real small for my real small jigs there's a real small open eye side wash all right then readily available locally here is the trot line hook I've opened the eye on this one but that's the stainless steel trot line hooks these are right at Academy very good hook they stay sharp so you're banging around in the rocks and things like that so I've really gone to more quality hooks than let's say that side wash. Um, some of these really, look at that, they're just really not that sharp and I have to sharpen them. So I'm kind of getting away from those and I'm going more towards these mustads and things like that. That's wicked, wicked sharp right there. But it's got a little small eye and you have to open that eye to make the jig, right? So. I even experimented at one time with with these 
and I got a whole bunch of them and they just didn't seem to work. Okay, and let me show you these. These are a double hook split. And what I was doing with these is taking a slab spoon. Here's a beat to hell slab spoon that I made with eyes on it. You can see how great my white paint job was. But at one point I thought, let's just really keep this simple. There you go. And it catches fish. But believe it or not, bigger fish, I was actually bringing the fish to the boat. And the hook was like that. It would slide out. That's not tight enough for a lot of our crazy wiggling going nuts ladyfish and even yellowmouth trout and even specks were making this so I got a whole bunch of these I'm not using so let's go over how just to simply build the jig because a lot of you bought my swivels but I hear zero comments on what you're doing with them zero no I don't know why people don't communicate. I'm here. I'm an email away. An email away. And you can always tell me what you're doing with them. Show me. Take a can. Gra grab your phone. Take a picture. Send it to me in an email or something. Okay? So, let's move this over. And let's take some comp components here. Okay? Turn the camera down really good so you can see. So there we got the beat up. There's one of my swivels. As a matter of fact, that is a that's the larger of the two. You know, I got the real micro ones, and then I've got these, which are number fives. And then I got the hook from Academy. A stainless steel trot line. Eagle Claw, which would be about the right size to use with a spoon, a slab spoon this size, possibly, or a little bigger slab spoon than this. And I want to attach it to the top. I don't want it. I don't want it on the bottom like that where I'm getting hung up all the time. So, all I did was I took and I grabbed... I grabbed the eye, and being stainless steel, believe it or not, you know, stainless steel bends pretty easy. So I took that and I opened it up. And I stick, well, let's stick it on the spoon first. So then it goes on the spoon. You take that open end, which makes these swivels so unique, right? And you pop it on to whatever you're putting on, right? Then, I take my open-ended up here that I just opened. I'll close this up, just grabbing it with ease, bending it back, right? Getting it nice and straight, the way it's supposed to be. Now, there's the open end, and I go in here with these nice little crimpers, and I squeeze. Done deal. I don't know what y'all are doing, if you're doing that or not. Okay? So then all of a sudden now you got your tie point, and you got your swinging hook. All right? But let's go to a hook that has a closed eye. These are the mustads. What I do is I get something out that I kind of use as a hammer. And we'll take another pair of crimpers that are real heavy. All right. And I take a screwdriver and I lay it right there, am I, I hope I'm, hope you're getting this, hope I'm in, 
I shot here. And I take it and I go. Hit that. Keeping this down. And I twist. And now my eye is open. Right? So now. I can take the open or the closed end of my swivel I stick it down there pinch it on BAM then I would take this end and I would I like taking them it's not all the jig head jigs the wire snap that on that in there close that back up turn around close that there you go so now you don't even have to have an, an either an open end hook let me see let me grab an open end an open end side wash uh, I mean, you don't have to buy these. That's the open end side wash. They come open. You don't have to have the open. Okay? You can do stainless, and you can open this. But because these are like high carbon steel, don't think that you're going to grab this like you do the stainless. And just bend that open because then the eye breaks. But opening the eye just a little bit using the screwdriver. Right, placing the screwdriver in there. Giving it a tap and a slight twist. Now the eye will open up. So that's the trick to doing it all. Is getting a little creative all right so the swivel is the key to it all these swivels are the key to it all folks many things can be done with these swivels and if I could move enough of this size and the little smaller size even I'm thinking about possibly next year going a size bigger than this and then maybe even the next size bigger than that I'd have to see if they can be done or not but because of that swivel my entire jig box is pretty much made and I could do so many other things with this I don't have spinner baits or any little trout spoons or or anything to show you but I've already put these in the front of plugs okay uh, on a little lipped diving plug I've put these on and I've crimped it now of course you can't have a wire too much thicker than you know just a standard wire like that um, let me see here some of the thickest wire. I mean you can't go to something like this jig here see how thick that wire is and think you're gonna be able to put that swivel on there this is all for super light stuff I mean that'll go on there and I can crimp it on there but I'm sure there's not gonna be a whole lot of play left so a big spoon like that. I even had a little trouble with these chrome spoons because they got so much chrome on them. All right. So see, that's pretty thick of an eye right there. So if I take this. And I stick it in my little crimpers. And you guys might have run into this. And you're just not saying anything to me. 
you can't really close that 100% completely. See that? It's caught up on that chrome. So what I have to end up doing is I got to work it back and forth and back and forth and get that chrome off of there. Because these are just dipped in a chrome bath. Okay. So you got to watch your eye because I've only got two sizes of these swivels. But talk about, I mean, come on. My entire jig box is all because of these swivels. They're so damn handy. And I mean, if you ever wanted to get one off, here's a little micro, micro set of um, split ring pliers. You just go in there. You got to kind of grab it right where the closing is. And let's see, I came, I got to put my, I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see. Oh, so much better. Boom. And you open it up. Okay. So if you make a mistake, don't worry. You can take a little micro set of split ring pliers. Problem is, see this, this wire on these jigs is just so heavy or so thick. Good God, it doesn't want to come off now that I got it on there. But you can take it off, believe me. It'll come off. But now it's... There you go. So you can, you can save it. That's what you just got to watch. The really thick wire. When I got these swivels made... I was basing everything on pretty thin wire, you know, on slab spoons. It's when I started dabbing in these type of spoons and other things. And you notice I'm not using anything on like a big jig like this. I'm not using these type swivels. I am having to use a split ring. But the whole idea is get rid of those shit and ass damn split rings. And you can just attach a lure to that. All right. So that's the Jetty Wolf Open End Swivels available on eBay. I'll put the link below of where you can go and check them out if you haven't already. And a little bit about how my vertical jigging or deep jigging got started from point A to now in the St. John's River and the Mayport jetties. It's not the most effective thing in the world because you gotta you gotta find the fish. But once you find the fish and it keeps everybody busy and you're doing something and you're just not sitting there looking at a rod tip sticking in a rod holder or just holding a rod with a sinker and a dead shrimp on it you're doing something and i always being a float rig fisherman always feel like i need to be doing something and jigging versus a and believe me i'm not poo-pooing a lead head and a soft plastic I'm right there with you. I love jigging soft plastics and jig heads. I'm right there with you. I love it. I love it. I love it. I like it better than plugging because I like I like the jig, um, you know, style of fishing, pitching and bumping the bottom and popping it and popping it and things like that. I like that. So. Um, this is just another way of doing things that I kind of, all because of my charter customers. Um, it started out where 
I want them to feel the bottom always. And when we were using a jig head and a soft plastic or a jig head and a shrimp, many times they weren't feeling the bottom. But I'll give you a clue. I take any one of my jigs, uh, it doesn't matter what it is. It's either one like this with the hook in the back or, you know, one with the hook in the front. Well, even here. Here is a 5 8 ounce slab. I'll use these pretty much like all winter, right? And there's a little tiny side wash, which was an open NI, VMC, Permasteel, which is a, a good hook. That's a good hook right there. It's hanging right on my finger. And I took and put a swivel up front. Because the minute we go to spin gear, you almost need a, some kind of swivel up front. We'll take these all winter long. And we will either put, you can literally put a piece of shrimp on here. Or, better yet, because they just bite the shrimp off, put a piece of fish bites. Put a little strip of fish bites on here. And that is adding the scent to the action, be it either it's a hook coming off of the swivel here or a hook coming off the bottom. It doesn't matter. So I'm adding all kinds of things to the old repertoire here. And um, let's see here. Here's a big heavy one with the hook on the back. And then as you saw in my jig box, most of the hooks are coming off the top eye. Well, think of it when you're jigging this, fluttering it off the bottom, that hook is swinging out with a piece of fish bites on it that is just smelling so good. You get them with this, you get them paying attention because this is moving like a wounded bait fish and the hook having a little tiny piece of fish bites on there is sealing the deal. It's sealing the deal in the St. John's because they can't see good. These fish cannot see in that water. So they smell it. Bam. There you go. So, all right. So that's it. Thanks for watching. This is just another little installment on what I'm doing with the jigs and the progression from months ago, years ago, to now. All right. Leave your comments below. And um, what did I want to do? I wanted to leave you with a link to eBay where you can find my swivels. The Jetty Wolf Open Eye Ban the Split Ring, folks. Swivel. All right. So much can be done with it. I wish some freshwater guys would get into this. Show me putting them on the front of a spinner, on the front of a spinner bait. Something that they're having a lot of twist problems or they want to make their own. I don't, uh, per, oh, let me just go with this. Let me tell you real quick. I don't know how the bass guys are doing it. But when they're fishing these slab spoons out in Texas and they're hanging a split ring, big trouble. How are they not getting hung on the bottom? How are they not getting hung on the bottom? Well, I think if they went this way, the fish can move around a lot better right here because you're tying off here. The fish can move around. I think you boys out in Texas, Oklahoma, or wherever, where you're using the bombers, you get rid of all that crap. You put a swivel on like that, and you put a single hook, I think that would be what I'd be doing. If I was out there, maybe y'all don't have a lot of snags. I don't know. All right, I'm done. Thanks for watching.